What is the main reason we can't cure HIV? Isn't the virus itself but a hidden trick it plays deep inside our system? Hey all, welcome to Thera Trek, where science meets hope. I'm your host Raj. Today we are breaking down one of the biggest mysteries in HIV research, the hidden reservoir. And my a gene called BACH2 may be the key to unlocking a cure. As you can see on the screen here, this is the source research paper that I have used. I'll put a link to it in the description. And let's get started. HIV attacks our immune system by infecting a type of white blood cell called the CD4 T cell. We have spoken about this at length in all our videos, so I'll keep it short. Antiretroviral therapy, or ART, does a great job at stopping HIV from multiplying. But here's the problem. HIV can hide inside a small group of CD4 T cells by going into a sleeping state. These hidden cells are called latent HIV reservoir. HIV also hides into other types of cells, including in the brain. And those are also the source of latent HIV reservoir. Because the virus is asleep, neither our medicines or our immune system can find it. But the moment ART stops, these sleeping cells wake up and the virus comes back roaring. That's why HIV is so difficult to cure and ART is needed for a lifetime. This reservoir is the single biggest barrier to a cure. It hides in places like your blood, lymph nodes, brain, and even genetic tract. HIV can sit there undetected for years. And the moment ART stops, the infection rebounds. That's the frustrating cycle researchers are trying to break. Most of these reservoir cells are memory CD4 T cells, which carry a receptor called CCR5. That's how HIV sneaks in. And we talk about CCR5 with regard to uh, HIV uh, type 1. But there's type 2 also, which is very limited in geography. Most of the therapies are targeting type 1. Here, here's where it gets interesting. These long-lived reservoir cells usually form right around the time ART begins. And a gene called BACH2 helps make this possible. Normally, when T cells reach the end of their life cycle, they stop dividing and die. But BACH2 can flip that switch, pushing some HIV-infected cells into a long-lasting memory state instead. In other words, BACH2 gives the virus a safe house to hide for years. BSCH2 is a gene found on chromosome 6, and it plays a vital role in shaping our immune system. Well, friends, the entire HIV uh, channel initiative uh, depends on your support. If you, the core HIV community, are not able to subscribe to this channel, it may not survive for long. There's a small group of people who are helping me out to keep the lights on on this channel. I hope you also join it. The details of this video continue in the full-length video that's found in the members only section. Please join today and help me grow this channel for you. See you there soon in the membership section at Theretric. Bye for now.